I'm Grace Shepherd, and David Shepherd was my husband, and he died five years ago, and we were married for 48 years. And way back in 1960, uh, he was invited to take part in a This Is Your Life programme with Eamon Andrews. We'd only been married about two and a half years. He had only been a clergyman for two and a half years, and I think people still remembered him mostly as a cricketer. So this very young clergyman cricketer was asked to do this programme on his life when he was so young. So it came as quite a big surprise to us. But he agreed to do the programme and we agreed to collaborate. Um, and, and this uh, experience involved, we were to discover quite a lot of conspiracy because he wasn't allowed to know absolutely anything about what was going to happen to him. But we were involved weeks before uh, in this and I had to keep this secret from him uh, for several weeks. And then the day dawned and those of us who knew about this were highly excited. And so we were instructed to take the rotor arm out of his car so that the car wouldn't go. And then I thought, well, I wonder if he got into the car and found it wouldn't go, somebody probably would discover this and, and put a rotor arm back in again. So that wouldn't be really enough. So <laughs> I then decided in the middle of the day that I, I would run a bath for him and in, sort of persuaded him that it would be a good idea if he might like to relax in a bath for a bit. <laughs> because he was so trusting, he agreed to this and had his bath. And I thought, well, that's good. That's him imprisoned for another, you know, half an hour or more. Anyway, that was successful. And then we took off for the Islington Boys Club. This was where the programme was to be made and where Eamon Andrews would be waiting, together with all the other people that had been invited to take part, um, a great array of people. So we arrived at the club with David and he had his uh, boys club notes under his arm and was already as the new clergyman to run this meeting, totally unaware of what was happening. And we were taken into this room and then he strayed and his sister, Mary, who I was talking to the other day, remembers that um, just before the red light went on, he paused to read something on a notice board. And there was panic stations amongst the BBC people because they thought, um, you know, the, the minutes were ticking over um, and they couldn't hurry him anywhere. But anyway, that worked out OK. So he left reading the notice board and then moved into the Boys Club building. And there, of course, were the lights, Eamon Andrews, and he walked up the steps onto the stage and Eamon Andrews then presented the book and said, David Shepherd, this is your life. And David froze, completely froze, and clung onto his notes even tighter. And then his sister, his older sister, and as she herself said yesterday to bossy sister, she hissed at him, enjoy yourself. <laughs> and he immediately relaxed, did what he was told, sat down and completely relaxed, put his notes on the floor and the rest is history. Well, a wonderful uh, collection of people. There was Mrs Ollie, who ran the jelly deal and pie shop in Rathbone Market. There was his secretary, Hilary, uh, his sister and, and me from the family. Mrs Withers, who was one of his parishioners who had no legs and he used to visit her regularly. And George Burton, his youth leader from the Mayflower, a terrific character. He was very keen to resist saying what the BBC wanted him to say. He was determined to, um, to share his faith in the way he wanted to share his faith and he did this with knobs on which was splendid and then there was a, a cricketing connection and there was um, Godfrey Evans who was wicket keeper England wicket keeper as one of his colleagues it was all rather exciting everyone in the Mayflower Family Centre which was a, a community of people uh, were involved and excited and enjoyed it of course he was very young to be asked to do this and so there wasn't a great deal of life to to present to him except um, the cricket and the parish and so on and the church just glimpsing yesterday at the script there was a suggestion there from Eamon Andrews that there were great things to come for David he ever wanted to become a bishop certainly not it was the biggest shock of his life and that's another set of memories perhaps for another time um in Hope Street in Liverpool, there is a memorial to David with Derek Warlock, his Roman Catholic Archbishop friend. Um, and that's in the centre of Hope Street, just outside the Philharmonic Hall. And Stephen Broadbent, who made this wonderful piece, has put on the back of one of the two tall doors that house the two men um, some quotations. And one of them says, a Bible in the bedroom and wisdom in the loo. <laughs>